Hey guys, Billy Inferno here today, and this is exciting because today I am uploading the official review for Dragon Bolt from the LEGO Hero Factory brand Tech Wave 2 line. So on the back we have age 8 to 16, 44009, 149 pieces, Dragon Bolt, and he gives you a glow-in-the-dark brain. On the back here, it just shows an option that you can make the wings lift up with a push of a button. And more game point stuff. He gives you a thousand game points. And just a close-up on where to press the button. That's it for the big bag. This bag is Ferno XL sized. So I'm going to open it now. Let's see this up there. It's kind of hard to do that. There we go. I already made a hole. This bag... Looks like it's going to come open easy. Those of you keep saying that they're not at your local Toys R Us, and I actually do feel a little sorry for you guys, <laughs> since I have all of them. I got Jet Rocka, I got every single one, except for Evo and Aquagon. Most of us know that those aren't actually released yet. And I'm being serious, guys, I do feel kind of bad for you, because you, you guys, your Toys R Uses are stupid. And I'm going to say that, because mine got them. Uh, we have one bag of big pieces, um, another bag of awesomeness, mm -hmm. a bag of small pieces, a bag of big pieces, I think there's nothing left in there except for the instructions. Okay, let's look at the instructions. Okay, so a picture of Dragon Ball, a bigger look at the uh, comic that we saw. Actually, this one's a little different, kind of looks like. Just a little bit, just slightly. Uh, this has a bigger picture. Okay, here it has 40 pages and 20 steps. There are all the pieces. Gives you 1,000 game points for the game. There's the combiner between Surge and Dragon Bolt. And another advert for a different Brain Attack picture game. And a crazy kid on the back. Alright, I'm going to actually open up each bag and show you the new pieces. And yes, the background changed because I needed a bigger background for the Dragon Bolt figure. Oh my gosh, I hate these bags. They have such weird plastic. I'm gonna go get the scissors. Sorry, hold on. There, sorry that took so long, guys. Uh, oh my gosh. Check this out. This is boss. Look at this. This is the new brain with a white inner. And just, oh my gosh, this is multicolored. This is awesome. Oh, jeez, this is, this is crazy. We have one long body. One very big body. Oh my gosh, Dragon Ball's head. This is much bigger than I expected it to be. Check that out. That is awesome. Oh, holy crap, this just keeps getting better and better. I'm not trying to brag this in your face, I'm just excited. Oh, check this out, we have four of these recolored yellow. Actually, I think, no, we didn't have any yellows. I think these are recolored yellow uh, samurai swords from Ninjago slash Hero Factor Speedy Demon. And I believe that is all the new pieces we have. I think there might be a few more, but we do have lots of these, even though these are new, I just like them. Oh, Oh yeah, we uh, 
Dang it, that's my cat. Kit, you can't come in here. Um, yeah, these are kind of new. I don't think they're really that new, though. So new to Hero Factory. That's that's all. I'm going to take these bags and I'm going to put them somewhere else. I just put them on the table. As you can see over there, that's my other review table. This is my... My big review table. Okay, well, um, that's it for the pieces. Now I'm going to get to the build, and this may take a while. I am back from the Dragon Bolt build. This is a really beastly set, um, but it took so much longer than expected, and now I'm actually tired. Um, I really need to get the hang of building these guys again. I just lost... I lost my experience after all this, all the five months waiting for these sets. Um, but this is Dragon Ball. Um, I'm gonna start off with basically everything. You can move his mouth up and down like that. And that's what the inside of his mouth looks like through there. His brain connects to that, and you can actually move this up and down, and then you can move the head all around like that is actually really good and then oops see that's the problem that's that's one of the problems I thought this would be a better brain connection back here but it turns out it's not it's not really when it comes to moving the head so sometimes you have to have to be really careful um, but yeah I mean that's the head on the side here, here's the side angle. He's really armored up. And you could pose this guy in a lot of good poses. On the tail here, it's just... It doesn't really go up that much. That's about as high as it gets, right there. And it just turns and turns around. It's really cool. Really awesome. On the shoulders, he has spikes. Pretty cool. Um, this is what his wings look like. They're, they're pretty big. They're actually really big. Um, here, there's a full view of him from the front. Those are how big his wings are. His wings are, they look like that, but these can, these, uh, katana sword samurai things can be repositioned. And, yeah, that's pretty cool, too. I like them, like, in the front there. They're hanging out in the front. There's also friction joints on this set to make it a stiff set so it won't fly everywhere or it won't fall everywhere whenever you touch something on it. So that's that's really awesome. This set is gigantic. And there's more than uh there's more pieces that I didn't get to show you. For instance, I forgot to show you this. This is actually pretty cool right here. Pretty nice pretty nice uh recolored piece there. Um I know there was a couple more that I noticed that I hadn't shown you guys. Um, I just forget what they were. Um, well, there was an XT4 body in this set. Uh, if I can lift the head up, it is right there. There's the XT4 body. That's where the XT4 body is. Now I'm going to show you some really awesome. Uh-oh, that wasn't awesome. What I was trying to show you was, when you push this button down, the wings will fly. This would be good for stop motion if there was a way it could stay down. It can't stay down. Plus, these friction joints aren't actually coming in that handy, are they? Not really. Oh, gosh, that's a bad view. But you can just grab him and... Clip is... It, it has rubber band, as you can see has a rubber band friction and that's why this set is awesome um let's see here i'm gonna try to make this his brain glow in the dark i know it can so just give me a minute to show you guys this i just gotta hold it up to the light for 10 seconds okay that should be good Is it glowing? 
Yeah, it's glowing all right, but not that well. It's glowing though. I think the only part that glows is the eyes. And, oh wait, 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 let me check. No, the eyes aren't glowing. Wait, they are a little bit. Not really. That's kind of a bust. Who cares though? It's still a really cool multicolored brain. You gotta admit that. That's it's a cool multicolored brain. That's uh, I'm just gonna just give you a full look around. That's basically just, I know that was kind of slow, I just wanted to show you everything about him, because this guy is really awesome. Alright, now on to my ratings. My ratings would probably be a 9.5 out of 10, just because you can see, like, Technic pieces and how this went together on the rib cage over there. That's the other problem I have with it. Other than that, this set is a lot better than I expected it to be. So I suggest you order this off Toys R Us, because it is available online to order, so you better order it now because before it com becomes out of stock. Alright guys, this has been the most awesome review yet, of the most awesome character yet, Dragon Bolt. See you later. Next is Jet Rocka.